Greetings Keepers and welcome back to Graveyard Keeper. We're in the last episode. We actually did quite a lot of work in the graveyard itself and that's probably going to be a continuing theme for today. We're starting to stockpile quite a large amount of things that we're going to be able to sell to the merchant in the coming week. Uh, we've also got some funeral ones. We've also got an inkwell that I really need to do something with and by something I mean put it back. Uh, but for now, uh, we're probably going to want to set up uh, some more, some more uh, billet. Honestly, we did four funeral pyres right at the end of the last episode. That's two right there. Let's see if we can't go for three. There we are. That is three. In fact, we'll we'll push it all the way to four new ones as well. There we are. Now, are we going to be able to train these? Almost certainly not. You know what? I'm not going to try. Ah, uh, the game has trained me. Get it? But I'm just trained me. But uh, the game has trained me not to have any faith in my ability to train things. Uh, if only the game would make it a little bit easier. Though, I saw a sneak peek of some of the new content very recently. Uh, nothing too um, in depth, just a, a GIF of something. And it looked like there was like a, some sort of pulley elevator system into a cellar. Now, I don't know which cellar, but I'm very, very intrigued. Uh, at the beginning, I thought it was a cart in some sort of, uh, so, some sort of like, uh, stable for the cart, but, uh, that was very much wishful thinking. I think my brain was projecting the thing I most wanted to see. Very much a case of I was seeing what I wanted, rather than what I actually saw. Uh, but we'll, we'll, I remain somewhat optimistic that maybe we will very soon see some cards. Maybe. Uh, let's go ahead and get all of that done. There we are. Perfect. 32 will do me nicely. We can get that ferried down to the funeral area. We've already got enough there to build one new pile. This will do another four. So we're still going to have the, the same amount there. But still, I think it's well worth the effort right now. It doesn't take us very long to, to get it done, and we've got a lot of corpses to get through. So, so many corpses to get through. Oh my goodness. Uh, but, let's uh, head on down. Now, we've got no particular corpses currently that require any uh, work. And, oh, I've got the sticks on. You know what? We've got stupid amounts of sticks back at the uh, workyard. I don't need to be stockpiling those. There we go. Let's get all of those done. Perfect. But we will be heading off to see the astronomer very, very soon. I wonder if we're going to be able to get another marble columbrium up and running before then. That'd be very nice. Our graveyard has actually gone down in quality a little bit from the highest it's been, which is a bit of a, a bit of a sad thing to to acknowledge there, really. But uh, we've only got two bodies to burn. Oh, that's a bit of a shame. There we are. And drop you there. Thank you. Let's get you down onto the pyres then. Well, at the very least, we can immediately replace one of these pyres. Now then, do I want to risk... Hmm. Well, we've al already got two corpses that we can bury, so I may as well get those buried, if nothing else. Uh, so sure, let's go and grab these. Which of these corpses? This one is by far the nicest looking. So let's get you into a new home. I think this may actually put us up over the highest we've been. I think the highest we've had is 575. So let's see. Yeah, we're, we're easily going to exceed that. Um, what do we want? An angel. Yeah, so we're, we've got a kind of diagonal um, angel reaper. Reaper Angel sort of affair going on. But we now need two new grave fences, at least. Let's have a look at you. What are we going to require? We need another six. Alright. That is going to take some time. That is definitely going to take some time. Uh, thank you very much, Comrade Donkey. Let's go and check on you then. I'm noticing some of these are very nicely decorated graves with very low quality um, prestige about them. That is telling me that those are not good uh, bodies in there. Those are actually quite bad bodies if such well decorated graves are not having that much of an impact. Um, wow, 
I mean, I can, I could get that up a little bit further. Uh, we can give it a, a try. Shall we see what we can do with it? I mean, we'll get a next one from glue, next one from lime. Yeah, well, yeah, we'll be able to get it a little ways. It's not going to be a particularly good corpse, but it's not going to be a bad one either. That's ah, worth it in my opinion. All right. Uh, well, we've got several really nice corpses, so we could just go ahead and continue to replace the corpses that are up there. There's nothing wrong with that. All right, let's get a new funeral pyre going. I may start my journey over to the astronomer now. Or very, very uh, soon. Probably after I've buried the, the next corpse. Just to get that done. Uh, how about we get this grave replaced? I think that would be quite nice. We're not going to have a marble fence, though, for it. Which is actually a little bit disappointing. Zoom you. But I like that little that little section with the use of the stone prayer, the the stone little shrine there. It's not a bad corpse, really, but yeah, we, we're gonna want you cremated, I'm afraid. Let's get you down there, light it straight away. We'll go ahead and bury one of these corpses. That would be you. Oh. oh. Now we have got the uh, the actual headstone for it, we just don't have the fence. I can easily make that before the next sermon, so... Sure, we're going to take this one up as well, I think. Oh, we've only got one. Ah, okay. So I'm going to need to get uh, a new angel as well. Alright, well that's not terribly difficult for me to do, so sure. We'll make this happen. Get rid of you as well. That's already better than the grade that was there before, so it doesn't really matter. Uh, it'll be the... Just the headstone alone will be better than uh, even this grave. Only by one point, mind you, but I don't have a headstone to put there, but it would be better. Well, since I can just portal over there, I might just do that anyway. Yeah, it's not a particularly good body. We'll get you on the pyre as well. There we go. Now then, which of these bodies is going to go up there? You. You're the lucky one, actually, before we go. Let's make sure that you're being cycled. That is our last silver injection. Going to need to make a couple more of those then. I wasn't expecting to run out of the silver injections. But then again, I probably was uh, being a little bit more frugal with making them when I made the last batch of silver injections, whereas the gold one, I just made loads. Well, that does make a bit of sense. Alright, gonna need some marble decorations. But I think we're gonna go over to the astronomer before we worry about that. I'm just gonna break down these before we do. And we've got a bit of a mix of them here, yeah, haven't we? And you as well. Oops. There we go. Perfect. Right, let's drop you guys off. There we go, and... Oh, drat. And I'm still carrying around the bloody ink. This cannot stand. It's gonna have to, but it shouldn't. It shouldn't stand. How vexing. At least we're making a large stockpile of things that I can sell, though. I suppose, you know, the good with the bad and all that. Right, let's make our move, then. Over to the astronomer we go. Hello? I didn't read your book, but everybody at the university was excited. <laughs> you get points for honesty. Perhaps a little too excited. They called it a breath of fresh air, and now they want a sequel. Oh. So we need to write another one. Uh, by the way, if you'd like to write something, I'll be glad to buy it. Oh. Write a gold star book? <sighs> Alright. I'll do my best. But I've got a funny feeling that's going to require gold trappings, isn't it? 
I might be able to get a gold star buck anyway, based on my writing abilities, but... Uh... Okay, well, at least we... We managed to... Oh, no. It just occurred to me. Is he going to say that it needs to be another week? Astronomer. Astronomer, I'm not messing around now. Don't do this to me, dude. <laughs> you are going to drive me to distraction, mate. I'm, I'm, I'm just going to... I'm... I know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna sabotage this book. I'm gonna fill it with smut. That'll learn him. Or maybe it won't. Maybe maybe all of the the uh, stuff he'll profess in the university will will maybe that's where I filled the lot well I was building it out of sin. So actually, yeah, yeah, we probably gave the professors a bunch of porn stories. Ah, uh, we have brought this on ourselves. Okay. Well, let's see. I'd have a 40% there, but I'd have a 90% if I made it into a silver book. How do I make it into a silver book, exactly? Ah, uh, oh, okay. Well, that's not actually too hard, but I have used up a lot of that already. A lot of my steel making the um, chisels, so that might be a bit of a problem for me. Let's go and have a look. Oh, no, we've got... Actually, quite a lot. Oh, fantastic. I approve. Maximal approval. We've got to be fast, though. Because nighttime is almost here. I promise. If I miss getting back to the astrologer, and then next week he says come back next week, I will do terrible, terrible things. Uh, we'll make three of them. Just so that we've got a couple of spares should the first one fail. There we go. On the plus side, though, he did say he'd buy books, so I, perhaps I could just sell him any of the other ones that uh, don't make the cut. Uh, there we go. Make. Please. Please make well. We got a gold book. Fantabulous. Well, uh, may as well, you know. Why not, eh? And we'll see how much they sell for. If only I still needed blue skill pots. If only. Thank you. Have I got any other books? I do. Right. My stone is recharged. Let's jump straight to the lighthouse. Hello. I wrote a book for you. Here's a book. Oh, wow. This looks good. We'll be going on that expedition in no time. Oh, that's good to hear. By no time, do you mean now? Evidently not. Scallywax. That is a lot of silver, though. Wow. Okay. I deeply approve of that. Wow. That's not that hard to do either. Okay. I... Uh, I'm frustrated with another week of waiting. But, it, you know what? Look on the bright side. It means that we've got more time to improve our, our graveyard. And I'm actually enjoying it. We're, we're making some serious headway with it. But it's not going to be long before we're over... 600 quality in the graveyard, I don't think. That is going to be very, very nice. And the next sermon is going to have all kinds of candles. It's going to have incense. Oh, we're going to have so many pilgrims. It's going to be the best sermon I've ever done. I should, probably should have done that. Hello, Comrade Donkey. Probably should have done that for, you know, the actual cathedral ceremony thing I'm at. But that was a cutscene, okay? I didn't know. I didn't know that was coming. Can't blame me for that one. I would have. If, oh, wait, I'm going up here, but really I need to sneak my way back down. Deal with the corpse the Comrade Donkey has just dropped off. But, as I was saying, I can't be blamed. Well, I mean, you can blame me, but you would be wrong to do so, in my humble opinion. Which isn't at all humble, in fact. <gasps> yes. It has taken so long. So long. Well, we are going to get to talk to the Inquisitor in the next episode uh, because I don't think we're going to have enough time. Well, actually, no, no, we probably do have enough time. Yeah, so we're probably going to be speaking with the Inquisitor this episode. This is a body for the pyre. Alas, sorry, body. But you know, it is the only place where you're going to be useful to me. Drop all of these off. In fact, let, let me go quickly and drop the rest of this stuff off. I'm carrying around too much rubbish. Don't want it anymore. There we go. Uh, the inkwell can go there. I I mean, I guess I'll leave enough to make that into a silver quality one. That makes sense to me. Sure. 
Alright, let's get you down to the pyre then. Uh, this dark heart is sticking with me for now. It has taken us this long to get one. I am not letting it out of my sight. Though, you know, it might be a little bit weird if you know, I'm lying in bed and I can feel the, the dark heart throbbing in my pocket. A little bit off putting. Alright, let's go and. All right, what do we want to drop off now? We want to drop off the steel parts. Yep. Right there. In fact, I kind of want to get more steel, honestly. Given that. Ah, gonna need more steel ingots then. Ah, gonna need more graphite. Ah, okay. <laughs> it's gonna be a trip to the mining outpost then for that one, I think. Get some more fish. You're gonna live in there for a little bit. As are all of you. Actually, this is gonna be another four urns. We need another two besides. We're making good progress on that. Much, much faster the progress than I was expecting. Much faster progress than I was expecting. But we do need to make some marble decorations quickly before we uh, forget. So let's get to that. We're going to want at least two uh, fences. So that's enough for that. Get both of those done. And then we're going to want um, an angel, I'm going to say. We want an angel statue. Alright, so we're going to need a polished block. Then a silver quality statue. Oh! The, the part that, I, that grieves me the most about the statues is that I've got no use for the copper or gold ones. So that, that's, that's a little bit frustrating to have to have these things just clogging up my inventory. When I'm not going to be able to do anything with them at all. Alright, let's make a move then. Got everything we need. And very soon. We're going to have enough to make a new Marble Columbrium. In fact, the next corpse I uh, exhume will probably be enough. It'll be very, very nice. Right, let's get you set up. It's going to be a little bit more than this grave really needs, but it's fine. And one there. We're not quite going to get enough, unfortunately, to push us up over the... 600 threshold, but the next couple of corpses that we exhume will, will do that job, I think. Alright, let's drop off these. Just need two more, as I mentioned. Right. Uh, ooh, I'm out of the slow metabolism. Uh, you know what? I'm, I'm just going to use this one. I've, I've wasted a little bit, but it's not as bad as it could be, I guess. Uh, let's grab you. Right, let's get all of these lit. Absolutely everyone lit that we can. With the best ones that we can. That wasn't what I was doing earlier, and I do apologize. There we are. And you as well. This should... Oh no! They require five! I thought they required three! We can quickly make the remainder the remainder. That is not going to be an issue. Thankfully, we've already prepared all of the aromatizer that we needed. That would have been quite the pain. There we go. Now, we only need... I think we've got two right now, so we need another three. And then another five. So, yeah, that, that's fine. So we just basically need to work through four of them. I won't... Well... Actually, you know what? I'm going to make all of them. The candles shouldn't go out in the time that we've got. If they do, I'm going to be frustrated with myself. But we're going to for science this, okay? I refuse to leave a job half done. There we go. There we are. Let's get these on the go. Yeah, they do have a very slight change to the animation. Okay. Now this is pretty much as good as our church is going to be. 130! 
Wow. Come on, come all. I'd like to say some words. Our church. Great. Doesn't actually look like there are that many more pilgrims, honestly. And now let us pray for this blessing. I imagine we're going to get quite a lot of faith from this. Ah, uh, that is right. The donations are welcome. I realize that most of you are going to give me less than two silver now because there's so many more of you, but it's okay. Oh, wow, that is a lot less. Still, pretty awesome. Yoink. Thank you. I mean, it, we've made no more money, but definitely was quite a nice, uh, quite a nice ceremony, at the very least. I could just buy all of your stuff, just to you to. Wow, well, that's a lot of money, though. I'll go with this, just to drive that up a little bit. Actually, all right, then I'll take that as well. Oh, okay, that that barely did anything, but that's fine. I don't mind spending money to rise his level permanently. We're making a good, goodly amount. It's not going to be an issue. I don't think I'll bother wasting my resources on an, on another big ceremony like that, at least for a little while. Should we leave some communion cookies? Uh, I don't think they just they they just don't do anything. So I'm really uncertain about it. I guess I'll carry them around. How's everything going back here? Some more fish done. Oops. No, no, no. That's what I wanted. Go. Oh. Right. Uh, I, I suppose I could leave the communion cookies here for no particular reason. Uh, let's go ahead and get the next funeral then. One more. That's all we need. Also, a sleep. We do need that one as well. Go. Just needed to uh, top up our energy, and that was good enough. Right. Salt outside. Faith over by the marble. Oh, I've still got a fish that I need to drop off as well. There we go. Probably want to get some more marble decorations done, actually. At least a couple of marble fences, if nothing else. So let's get. Uh, let's get. Yeah, we'll we'll literally make a couple. So two. Then we will promptly make two statues, a reaper and a an angel. Uh, let's go. So we want two of these again. If we're lucky, we want two. Or if we're unlucky, we will want five or six or twenty. Let's see how the dice fall. Okay, good so far. Let's see if we can do it twice in a row. And survey says, yes. Oh, fantastic. I approve. One Reaper. And really, right at the end there, one Angel. There we go. We're going to need to make some more marble for the Columbrium itself. I believe it's seven or so. I could be wrong on that one, though. But we'll have a quick look. How many do we need for that? Oh, no, four. Very well. We're also going to need two statues, of course, as well. Uh, let's drop these off. There we are. Now then. Um, uh, you know what? Even though these are not particularly bad corpses, let's get these ones replaced. Go. And this one as well. This one's only three. What? Oh no, it was three once I started removing the uh, the headstone. That's right. Yeah. Oops. Almost forgot that I needed to dig it up. Not just say that I wanted to dug up. All right, there we go. Let's go and get this switched out. We will be able to go and speak with the Inquisitor shortly, though. 
nothing of any particular use there. Let's get you straight onto the pyre. If there was indeed a pyre down there, which there is not, so you're going to have to sit over here for a second then. You ready to go? No, not quite yet. You, however, are. You need some better bodies, though. These are not sufficiently good bodies. But come the next... Uh, the next sermon, they'll both be fairly high quality, and we'll have a new Columbrium here, which is, I'm really looking forward to. Uh, and a nice fence as well. Let's get you out of here. And hopefully this body is decent. Though, honestly, the ones that we've been seeing at the top very unlikely they don't have blood and fat removed, since this is where I was getting much better at taking care of the bodies. Uh, okay. Well, we need to go and grab the Dark Heart. There we go. And we'll also break down these, uh, these four as well while we're here. All right, Dark Heart, you're coming with me. Now, apparently... This is completely optional. We don't need to do it at all. And that makes a lot of sense because, you know, our focus was simply on getting the, uh, the, the burning coal, the eternally burning coal. Uh, but we've already got that, so let's get you done. And drop these off. There we go. I'm going to keep my aristocrat papers with me just in case the Inquisitor says, What are you doing with this dark heart? I'm like, but you told me to bring die nonsense. That was before my son was the cultist. Now I'm afraid you're gonna have to take the fall. I I could totally see that happening. Wait. No, no, poop, poop, wrong day. I did it again. Every single time. Every single time. Constantly getting Mars and Venus mixed up. Why? I just don't even. Don't even. Oh well. I suppose that leaves us something to look forward to in the next episode. Oh, what a pain. Why can I never get it right? We've got two gold star royal fish. That's going to be very, very nice. Uh, that said, though, let's uh, grab a bunch of things to go and sell to Haradric. At the very least. You know what? Sure. Let's get this done. Uh, because otherwise I'm going to just cry. Um, yeah, we've already gotten rid of the, the stone, so that's fine. Let's go and speak with Harad. Oh, no! You shouldn't let me do that, game. You, you scary one. Game, why did you let me be stupid? Uh, <laughs> I imagine the game is kind of shrugging. Eh, why would I fight against your nature? Well, to be fair. Okay, come on then. Or Adric. I just wasted my portal stone on that. Hello. I would like to trade with you ten burial certificates. That's actually quite a lot. Thank you. And Miss Chum. Hello, darling. How can I help you? Well, as it happens, I would like to sell some jewelry to you. There you go. I'll get 68 silver. That is good enough. Thank you very much. Um, let's have a look. Have some questions. No more questions. Okay. Well... On the plus side, we've confirmed that there's nothing new for Ms. Charm to say. L yeah, let's let's just turn turn that failure into a success. We have successfully ruled out that Ms. Charm has something new to say between her father getting the gold star book and returning next week, probably. Uh, but on that note, I'm afraid I'm going to be wrapping the episode up here as we have run out of time. I really hope that you are enjoying the series. I know it uh, it is sort of winding down a little bit now. We're doing a lot of just passing time. But as I mentioned, I am actually enjoying getting the chance to properly uh, work on the, the graveyard. I think that's actually pretty, pretty cool. But that's going to be it from me. So until next time, and as always, do take care, everyone.